Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. Well, a very, very happy Easter. And that's what we're going to be talking about today, so Easter. Easter happens to be one of my most favourite times of the year, shortly after Christmas. Easter, of course, means many things to many different people. It can, of course, be faith-based, and absolutely. Easter is an, um, it's, it's a beautiful story, and it's an incredible story, which I love, and it means a lot to me. Um, faith, I am a Christian, means a lot to me. So I, it's a time where you get to evaluate things, I always find. You, change is always on the horizon, I always find around Easter and springtime. Not just all around us with the colours and the plants and the flowers and animals and, and one thing and another, but I always find that this time of the year, it's almost like that life seems to open up. Um, we're seeing... The, the back end of winter disappear, and you can guarantee that there is change um, ahead, and hopefully that is change, and that's positive change. Now, some people might not. Some people may find themselves in a bit of a rut this Easter and this springtime. It's been a difficult couple of years with, of course, the back end of the COVID pandemic, and we've only got to turn our TV screens on to see just about all the horrific things which are happening in this world. I'm a true advocate that we all may, we should always try to find the light, even in the darkest of situations. And even though sometimes that there isn't, or what we think there isn't in that moment in time, there is. And sometimes it just takes a little bit of time just to let things settle, take a breath, and just to kind of give yourself a moment and those around you. And actually, in time, that light will shine through and you will get there. So for many this Easter season, um, I know it's not going to be an easy one. Um, I do hope that everybody who watches this clip and for all of my subscribers and my viewers, um, I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody because this up until now and over the past couple of months, I've had amazing support. I've had a lot of real wonderful, really, really lovely warm wishes. My mum went for a real major surgery at the start of the year and I had a lot of people reach out with their support for that, which was really great. So thank you very, very much for that as well. My long-time serving subscribers who have been with me and they follow my journey and my experiences in this life and I share so much on my channel. Um, thank you very much as well for being there and your well wishes and your questions and your queries. There is lots more to come on my channel. Easter. Now, of course, Easter for me, as I mentioned already, is faith for me. So a lot of people think, well, why? With all of the things going on in the world, why? Well, for me, the Lord above loved us and loved this world so much that he gave his only son. And of course, Jesus dealt with my sin, your sin, our past, present and future sins. And he gave his life. He gave that all up. For us, for you and me. So that really incredible, beautiful story and that, that celebration that, of course, he beat death and that through that, that we have to worry no more about our lives and that that's taken care of with the amazing grace of God and his son and that actually um, that death is not the end. And I think that actually spring and Easter symbolize that so incredibly, that actually there is new life all around us, whether that be in our own families, whether that be new starts, whether that be us acknowledging our lives and actually thinking, do you know what, something's got to give, something's got to change, I'm ready to live, I'm ready to move on, I'm ready to 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 get going with life. I think when we've we've finished with the first couple of months of the year, which are always really tough, really quite can be quite gloomy, quite blue, where you're thinking, oh, a new year, I'm not quite where I want to be, or perhaps you are, but perhaps the different things in the world is really starting to take a toll on you. And you're thinking, do you know what? This is tough. And do you know what? It's okay to acknowledge that actually it's tough. I think there's such an emphasis on us that we should always be bright, positive and cheerful all the time. And I think that, do you know what? I could sit here and say that, I am. I try to be. That's the main thing. And as long as we try and as long as we work hard and as long as that we acknowledge our own true feelings in here and we love and respect those around us. OK, so going back to my element of what I stand for within my faith as a Christian, that actually if I love God and actually I love thy neighbor and I love everybody and I and I treat everybody kind and I treat everybody well and I try to help others and do the best I can in this life. 
then that is so. And then for me, I've accomplished that. I'm, I'm successful in my heart. I'm successful and I'm going to keep going. And my life isn't always easy. I've had a lot of health problems in the background. I'm not necessarily where I want to be in this life, in this world yet, in the terms of that whole rotor of success. Um, but there's great things to come. Do you know what I mean? I always try to look for the positive in everything. Um, and I always think if you can't necessarily see it right now, then change, change things. And I read something actually a couple of days ago that don't concentrate on the down things and the things which you're dwelling on yesterday and the day before, because you could very well miss out on the blessings which are going to happen today or may have even already have happened, but yet you haven't been able to acknowledge them or seen them because you've been too wrapped up and too busy, or which has been testing you a couple of days ago. So Easter so amazingly for me does that. It gives us that kind of reset that actually, do you know what, let's take a moment, let's breathe, let's be thankful. And if you're not religious and if you're not of faith, then absolutely so. Easter is a wonderful time to just sit back, recuperate, recover, give yourself a bit of a recharge, come together with family, those who you love, those who you hold dear and near and, and just, it's a wonderful time. Yesterday, the Good Friday, I came together with a lot of my family, which was lovely, my brothers, my mum, my nieces, my nephew, and yeah, lovely, absolutely, really, really loved it. So family is a huge thing for me and um, Easter is pretty tough, I have to admit, this year. It's the second year without my dear nan, um, who is my absolute world. Um, I lost my nan on the 31st of May, 2021. Um, and I was there and I was always there. And uh, she's like a second mum to me. And I've been truly, truly blessed in this life. Um, and I truly have been. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I'm always truly thankful to the Lord above of uh, being blessed with such an incredible family. So my mum is my absolute best friend, my father exactly the same, my best friend, and they're amazing parents. And my nan, who is my mum's mum, um, is at that parent table. So it was almost like I had three parents at that parent table for me. So such a blessing growing up. And I feel so privileged and so humbled to think that actually I get to call them for the whole of eternity my parents. And I love that. I really, truly do love that. Easter Sunday, Easter dinner, we do things very traditional in my family. Um, Nan was always there. Easter, Nan was always featured so heavily. Um, and now she's no longer here, but I know that she is. Um, and often I get quite down and I get, I get very upset sometimes that she's no longer here. And then through my prayer, that helps me through. And I know that the Lord um, and his son handled that Jesus handled that, that we don't need to worry. We don't need to worry. He handled that and he dealt with through his sacrifice of his life that he dealt with our past, present and future sins. He dealt with death. Death was no more. Um, and you know, even through all of that, I still sit here sometimes and I look at my nan's picture and I think to myself, I just wish we could have it all back again. Isn't it awful how greedy we can be, even when we've had so much of a good thing that we still want more? I lost my nan at the age of, uh, she was just turning 95. And I lost my nan at that age. And I feel so humbled and so privileged and so grateful that she got to that age. Um, and all those wonderful years and wonderful times I had with her and growing up with her. Um, but you know, it was far too soon. It was still far too soon. And nan was, in my heart, she was, she may have been 95, but it was still far too soon. Um, so Easter, I'm, my heart's breaking. I have to admit this Easter, it really is for that, but it's, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's lovely. And I really hope that you get the opportunity to enjoy some, um, some, whether it be family get togethers, whether it just be some recuperating time or whether it be, if you're going to Easter service tomorrow, um, or what, what you're doing, then I hope you have a really, really amazing Easter. Easter, of course, with children and things, it's absolutely lovely. So my nieces and nephews, I got to see my twin niece and nephew yesterday, which I love and adore. And I done them up like an Easter, almost like a parcel, um, a gift bag with sweets and Easter egg and money and one thing or another. And, and I hope they really love that. And we had some fun and some laughter and some jokes and things yesterday. I get to see my little niece tomorrow, which I love and adore. That's my twin brother's daughter. And um, we're doing an Easter egg hunt in the garden and everything, hopefully. And we're having some lovely weather. Just Easter here in the UK, 
we in the southwest we usually are blessed with really really good sunny weather so that's really lovely over the easter period as well and of course it's just nice isn't it to switch off from the outside world and just concentrate on those who you love the most in this world and come together with family and friends and and have yeah some really lovely things some lovely easter foods and perhaps a glass of wine and just switching off and laughter and and just having a great time easter of course means so many things i know i've talked very heavily about my faith and and what easter means for me and um and yeah, but of course, Easter, it doesn't, for a lot of people, it won't have an element of faith. And you know, that's absolutely OK. Um, of course, it's a great time to come together. It's a great time to be able to just switch off, enjoy those couple of days off where you can just re-energize and get yourself back up onto sort of full charged mode and go back into your life um, happy and, and, and energized, ready for the rest of the year until we get the rest of the bank holidays and things coming up this year too. Of course, Easter can be perhaps that you may not be doing it on Easter. Perhaps in a couple of weeks time, you'll be celebrating Easter when you can come together with family and one thing and another. Um, it is, of course, what we make it as much as what life is as well. I always say to my brothers when they're a little bit down, write your book how you'd like to read it. So if you're sat there thinking, well, I'm not necessarily doing so much. It's a bit quiet. I'm not really seeing anybody. Think about it again. You've worked hard. You're on your Easter break. You're going to have some time just for yourself. You're going to enjoy what you want to do. And if that means just relaxing, going for a walk, just enjoying the sunshine or picking up the phone, chatting to somebody who you haven't chatted to for a little while. Just enjoy the small moments, enjoy the small blessings in this life, because those often truly mean the most. They truly, truly do. And they can be the most little incredible things which we remember all the time. OK, so on that note, um, I really, really hope that you have a very, very happy and a very, very special Easter. And remember, Easter doesn't have to be expensive. You don't have to shower with the most luxurious this and the most expensive that. It really can be very, very cost effective, very inexpensive, and you can have a really, really great time. Sometimes just doing craft things can, yes, I know that can be quite expensive as well, but doing it quite savvily, um, that can be really, really great. I know my niece, my little niece, we usually end up doing things like that tomorrow. And um, and that would be really, really great too. Um, Easter egg hunts and things, they don't have to be expensive, do you know what I mean? But they're really, really fun and really, really cool. Um, so yeah, it, it doesn't have to. It doesn't. We see so many things on social media that somebody's done this, or somebody perhaps has gone on holiday, which a lot of people do at Easter as well. Um, always great to me, I have to admit, just how expensive holidaying is around the Easter season. Um, I find it shocking and I find it really, really awful that... Um, um, that companies almost take advantage of that. Um, but yeah, we, we're all be doing different things, I know, this Easter uh, weekend, this Easter holiday. Um, so whether it is of faith, whether it is of switching off, whether it is coming together with family, or a whole host of those things all thrown in together, I hope you have a really, really great time. What have I been doing today? I went out with my mum today, um, had some, had a really lovely time. We bought some Easter things. We bought some last minute sort of Easter treats and one thing or another, had a really lovely time with her as well. Um, went, we all, all the family came together yesterday, which was really, really lovely. Um, then the time before that, my eldest brother, my mum and I, we went out for breakfast, a really Easter themed. We had a really, really lovely time, done some grocery shopping and things. So that was really, really cool as well. And I've seen lots of people amongst that as well which has been really really lovely um yeah so that's it from me uh and coming ahead of course we have a real traditional formal easter sunday tomorrow um which will be absolutely lovely and then of course easter monday and i've booked some time off as well from work um after that so i've got a bit of an extended break too so there's a little bit about me a little bit of an update there i really hope that you're well i hope that you're healthy i hope that you're enjoying this easter break and i hope that all of my subscribers and everybody who views my channel thank you very much for being here and if it wasn't for you i wouldn't have my sort of growing uh sort of channel which i absolutely love and thank you from the bottom of my heart it means so much to me it means so much to me that you're sat there listening to this so thank you very very much easter blessings to you a very very happy easter god bless take great care and until next time i will be seeing you soon bye for now